The Idea Hub is a one-stop smart board which features a large 4K screen, on-screen writing and erasing capabilities, a built-in projector, microphone and in-camera, and it also has the ability to wirelessly project images or presentations from any smart device. There's an application you can download. You go to it and you use this projection code here. I just connect it to my phone, press share screen, and I can share the content of my phone in real time. Member of Parliament for Port of Spain North St. Anne's West, Stuart Young, thanked Huawei for what he described as groundbreaking technology for the students of the school. And although he's grateful for the new technology, the minister is hoping that soon children can return to their physical classrooms. Our children in the country have really, it's, they've, they've managed the burden and the difficulties of COVID. They've put it on their shoulders, they've marched on. But now it's time for us as adults Let's vaccinate to operate. Let's vaccinate to get our children back in schools. It really is their time. And we're going to have to live with the virus. But as we move forward, this type of technology has to become more mainstream. Principal of the school, Roxanne de Freitas, is looking forward to implementing the Idea Hub in their teaching regime. So Huawei has decided that we are going to work on this training. We come out in August as our first two days and we are looking at setting up training there, as well as which, which areas. We are also looking at the children who will be at home. Those who will be at home, if it's gonna be the, the younger group, we will look at those people to visualize everything that's happening at the school so that they won't miss out. Huawei has installed four of the Idea Hubs in other schools. Lahokita South Government Primary, Karanaj Boys Government Primary, Russell Latapi Secondary School and San Juan North Secondary School. The company expects to complete the other five at schools located in East, Central and South Trinidad. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.